so recently uh, why do you want to do a video on jackfruit so recently there has been a news that has been surfaced uh, in kerala that a new kind of variety of jackfruit has been found that is called as ayu jack variety which can grow in very small households and it can also bear fruits that can pluck from the grounds okay so this is how the ayur jack variety actually look likes so there has been also a news similar that is in 2013 so a farmer from maharashtra so he got a fruit similar to this uh, so he got the fruit in one and a half years and that fruit was called as singapuri fruit okay so this was the news earlier to this but right now in the december edition you have a new news on a jackfruit that is an ayur jack variety so that is why it is sensible to do a video on jackfruit So guys before going to the uh, topic proper uh, you need to know where and all jackfruits are usually found so jackfruit is one kind of a mighty fruit that is mainly present in and around the south states especially karnataka kerala and tamil nadu okay so uh, you know that uh, keralites uh, have a huge fascination towards the jackfruit and also tamil nadu people uh, like especially uh, places like banruti are very really famous for a uh, jackfruit okay so the first thing is distribution so you can google the distribution where it on all it is present and the first thing is what is the soil that is ideally required for jackfruit cultivation and what is the climate that is also required so usually any soil that has a ph around 5.5 it is very good for jack cultivation okay so the soil need to be well drained and also if the ph is not like favorable you can add that is 1% aluminum sulfate in the pit to reduce the ph so it is almost the soil which is so alkaline okay sorry the soil which is like acidic is very good for a jack cultivation and usually it grows well in all the plains and uh, up to an elevation of about 1200 meters so because uh, i'm just not reading i'm just giving you the points you have to remember this each and every single word because these are the give these are the pointers that will add or the, that will boost up your marks uh, so guys uh, the next thing is propagation so usually like almost all the plants can be propagated in a similar or a almost close to similar ways and this technique is called as a cliff grafting okay so cliff grafting is a technique that has been used for jackfruit just remember this word because key pointers are the one that is going to give you good marks so usually during the period of uh, uh, july to august on a four month old seedling rootstock it is usually done okay so just remember the points so i will tell you the technique okay so before that just know the parts alone so there is a rootstock is there that is the dead root and the next thing is uh, a sion sion is actually nothing but shoot or uh, any bud like that okay so just remember these thing so i will tell you the technique how to propagate by using cleft grafting okay. so can you see uh, a root stock has been like taken out so this is how you select a root stock so this root stock is like dormant that is it is inactive so from this we going to do a small thing that is you have to take down a small portion out from the root stock okay so you have to carve out a small space like this and after carving out a small space so you need another thing so this is like root stock and the next thing is you have to take a sion that is a shoot so can you see so this is the developing portion that is called a shoot and uh, you have to do the same way that is uh, you have to take a small bit portion from the uh, developing portion that is shoot so from here like we are cutting the things and after cutting you have to get a small piece like this so this contains all the essential uh, medicinal tissue cambium and everything all the things okay so you have to take and you have to put it inside the carved region can you see it here okay so there is a small bud here okay you have to expose it openly can you see you have to expose it and apart from this you have to cover almost all the things uh see so we have covered almost all the things from the exposed region you get a new appendage okay appendage or any and after few weeks you get this okay so if you want to know more about detail about the cleft uh, grafting i can tell you but uh, i will tell you in another video because this is about jackfruit so just remember the technique cleft grafting is a technique that is used to grow propagation in jackfruit and the next thing is you have to prepare your field and also you have to plant it so usually 
this is how actually you have to prepare that is one meter square with a depth of one meter so okay so you have to take a space of about one meter almost like a square and you have to uh, fill the pit with uh, top soil mix it with 10 kg of foam that is farmyard manure okay so the natural manures that you actually use in your gardens and also one kg of neem cake per pit so this is how you actually fill the pits usually uh, the graft were usually uh, were put up during june to december at 8 to 8 m spacing okay so this is an added uh, information now after putting the plant in the soil you need to remember uh, what are the inf in infection that the plant might get so usually uh, in jackfruits there are spittle bugs and also there is pest fruit borer i will show you the images and how the infection can be actually eradicated is you can apply carbaryl for a pest fruit borer and uh, you can also spray methyl parathion or methyl temeton or also posfamidon okay so these are the names these are like purely purely theoretical and uh, there is nothing to explain also so if you want to know how to cure uh, the pest fruit borer you can apply carbaryl you just have to mug it up no other way and for spittle bug i have given the details here so this is how uh, the boring actually is done okay so this is actually a fruit borer a pest so can you see uh, the plant is getting bored down by the insects and uh, by using carbaryl you can almost eradicate it so the next thing is uh, a rhizopus rot can you see the image so this is the jackfruit that has been completely vandalized by the fungus so this is called as rhizopus rot okay so just remember the name alone you can almost get half to one mark in every essays so just remember the names so how can you control it it can you either you can uh, spray bodiax mixture or a copper oxychloride and uh, these sprays must be used uh, like not frequently they should be used they should be given at an interval of about 15 days so just remember the, these three diseases that is fruit borer pest diseases and uh, this one rhizopus rot uh, so in the first slide i told you ayurjak variety right so ayurjak variety is the one that gives in within one and a half years so usually the harvest commences from the fifth year in graft so that is why the discovery of Ayurjak variety is very significant because it just takes one and a half years whereas compared to the original uh, the plants which gives in the fifth year in case of it is grafted or if it is eighth year in case if the seedlings are used. So that is why uh, you have to like know these key things and all because these are significant discoveries and this can be game changers in the field of horticulture. So uh, usually harvest is done during the uh, March and July just remember these things and all because these will add you that extra half half marks so and the last final point is the crop yield is usually about 30 to 40 thousand per hectare okay so this is like a very basic thing about on jackfruit and one thing is why uh, there is a reason why uh, jackfruit is not flourishing among almost all the masses the one thing is it is usually very big because uh, small consumers who are like wanted to do a uh, uh, like uh, take a getaway they can't carry this whole fruit even if they are offered at a very cheaper rate because of its massive size and also there is no proper technique involving and in handling these kinds of fruit and also there is almost all, only two uh, kendriya vigya kendras that is kvv that is uh, giving a research about on jackfruit so the research has to be intensified and maybe up in the coming years jackfruit might be the fruit that can actually be the solution for the food security also in many parts because uh, if you get a one fruit you can almost like eat it for three days okay so that is how massive and that is how nutritious this jackfruit is so guys this is about the theoretical aspect of growing jackfruit so this is nowhere connected to the real plantation technique so if you want that then this is not the place for it so keep supporting uh, the channel because a lot of complaints has been uh, coming from uh, many sites because uh, it is not so like practical in nature uh, it is almost like theoretical yes it is theoretical because we want to do it in that way because so that student can get the points we conduct we condense these points from the textbook so if you want to do it uh, in a practical way so uh, so that is not the time right now so guys thanks for supporting this video and uh, do hit a thumbs up if you like it and uh, if you want to share it you do share with your friends also thank you and have an awesome day